It is Indigenous Peoples Day here in California, while it's also been known as Columbus Day. Today focuses on the contributions of those who lived here before Europeans arrived. One Bay Area tribe still fighting for recognition, and as John Ramos shows us, they took that fight across the country on horseback all the way to the nation's capital. The Muwekma Ohlone tribe claims that its ancestral homelands extended clear from San Jose all the way to Mount Diablo. There doesn't seem to be any dispute over that, but as they struggle to gain federal recognition, the fight seems to be over whether or not they can open a gambling casino. They arrived at the Arlington Bridge in Washington, D.C. after a two-month journey by horseback that started at the Golden Gate Bridge. The tribe called it the Trail of Truth as they crossed the country, demanding to be included by the federal government. Mwekma Ohlone has been in a 45-year struggle to get really our existence acknowledged. Once numbering nearly 30,000, the tribe has about 600 members remaining. Tribal chairwoman Charlene Nijma says the tribe was once recognized, but decades ago, the Bureau of Indian Affairs ruled that they, in fact, didn't qualify to be on the list of government-sanctioned tribes. We should have never been through the federal acknowledgement process because that process is only for tribes who were never acknowledged by the government or who was terminated. Our tribe was never terminated and we were acknowledged. That means Mawekma has no sovereign nation status. In August, the San Jose City Council was considering a resolution supporting the tribe when they began getting letters from local members of Congress. Representative Anna Eshoo wrote, saying neither she nor the BIA dispute that the Mawekma are indigenous to the area. Quote, Instead, the key question is whether the tribe constitutes a distinct and long-lasting sovereign nation entitled to a government-to-government -government relationship with the United States. Representative Zoe Lofgren had a more pointed message for the council. Quote, the council may wish to consider whether its intervention in this federal matter is appropriate at all. And I've heard from every councilman, man and woman, saying, yeah, she's pressuring us to stop taking action on the resolution. She wants to kill it. And I'm saying, why? Here's why. In January of last year, the tribe got a letter from five local Congress members that said, quote, we've discussed the issues relating to the Moekma Ohlone tribe, and we agree unanimously on a crucial point. None of us want casinos in our congressional districts because we're concerned that gambling will negatively impact the communities we represent. With sovereign nation status, tribes have the right under California law to offer gaming on their land. The congressional delegation asked if the tribe would be satisfied with federal recognition if it excluded the right to open a casino. And what Congress is asking of Muwekma is to give away rights of ours. And, um, and specifically what they're saying is we don't want you to do gaming in the Bay Area. You've taken enough from us. You have taken our land, our culture, our language. You are not taking anything more from future generations. That's why they came to Washington. They're hoping to get an audience with President Biden or Vice President Harris because they already know how Congress feels about it. Now, the San Jose City Council was supposed to consider the support resolution at a meeting in September, but at that meeting, the proposal was dropped without further action.